in this video I want to use this diagram to prove Pythagoras theorem. So you got two squares, one square inside the other square. So you got A, B, C, D is a square. Okay, so one thing that you can see very clearly is A, B, C, D is a square. A, B, C, D is a square. And inside that square, you have got uh, P, Q, R, S is also a square. So P, Q, R, S is also a square. So we want to use, we want to use, uh, sorry, prove Pythagoras theorem using these two squares. Okay, so let me explain again Pythagoras theorem. Now Pythagoras was a Greek mathematician who lived before Christ. And Greeks gave us uh, much of the knowledge that is used in trigonometry and many other sciences. So this is a right angle triangle. This angle is a right angle. So this is, say, this is triangle, say, um, ABC. Okay, so this is triangle ABC. Angle B is a right angle. So this side is called the hypotenuse, that is C. Say this is A and this is B. The length of AB is A, the length of BC is B, and the length of AC is C. So he gave us this famous Pythag uh, theorem called Pythagoras theorem, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And from this you can write, if you take square root of both sides, c if you want to find directly square root of a squared plus b squared. So let us prove this well-known theorem. There are different proofs for this theorem. So this is one of the proofs. So well, <clears throat> by looking at this, you can say, uh, a, B, C, D, A, B, C, D means the area of A, B, C, D. When you say A, B, C, D, it is the area of A, B, C, D is equal to the area of P, Q, R, S. P, when you say P, Q, R, S, it is the area of P, Q, R, S plus the area of four triangles. Okay, so that is A, Q, P. Let me write like this. A, Q, P. This is this triangle, so this is one. This is the second triangle. This is the third triangle, and this is the fourth triangle. Well, basically, if you look at uh, the area of all this triangle, they are equal. So basically, you can say, if you find the area of one triangle, times it by four, that will give you the area of all these four triangles. Okay, so you can say, I hope you understand <coughs> For triangle one, you can say A B is sorry, B A P is the base and A Q is the height. Here you can say Q B is the base, B R is the height. So if you, in other words, the base and height of all these four triangles are equal. So the area have to be equal because area of a triangle is half base times height. So so what can we say now? What is the area of triangle, sorry, square ABCD? The length of AB, so I can say the length from year to year is A plus B. A plus B from year to year. And what's the length from year to year? So the length from year to year is also A plus B. So length plus width is same, so because it's a square. So the ABCD, which is the area of uh, square ABCD would be A plus B times A plus B. Does it make sense? Yeah. Is equal to the area of PQRS. So the length and width are C, so that would be C squared plus half times uh, the base is B times A times 4. So expanding this, so I can say this is A times A is A squared, plus A times B is AB, plus B times A is AB, plus B times B is B squared. So those who don't understand this, this is basically A times A plus B, plus B times A plus B. But this is also called foiling it out. So expanding this, A times A is A squared, plus A times B is AB, 
plus b times a. So what we're doing is we're multiplying, distributing this to each of the terms inside the bracket or the letters inside the bracket. So b times a is same as a times b, so you can write a b plus b times b is b squared. So that is equal to, let me uh, write this. So this is equal to c squared plus half times four is going to be two. So basically half, half times four is two and two times b times a is two ab. So let me scroll it up slightly. So I'll repeat, I'll, if I can simplify this, so this becomes a squared plus ab plus ab, this is two lots of ab, plus b squared is equal to c squared plus 2ab. So you've got 2ab on both sides, so you can take away 2ab from both sides. If you take away 2ab from this side, you should take away 2ab from this side. So this and this gets cancelled. And uh, lo and behold, we have proved a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And this is Pythagoras theorem uh, using two squares, one inside the other. Okay, so just, you can also look at this in a different way. <coughs> Say here, yeah, a is two, so a is three. Let's take a specific example. A is one, two, three units, and this is b is four. B is four. So, so using the same, uh, can you prove, I will post this video, I want to uh, erase this. So can you prove yourself that three squared plus four squared is equal to five squared? I'll come back. You can pause this video and try to prove this Pythagorean triplet. This is called a Pythagorean triplet. We have just proved that a squared plus b squared is c squared. So we want to use this a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So let's take a specific example. So this is called a Pythagorean triplet, three squared plus four squared is equal to five squared. So in this case, if you take a as three and b as four, and if you use this triangle, say any triangle, so this is a three, so if you use this triangle, we can prove C is going to be 5. So let's prove that C is equal to 5. <clears throat> so how can we do it? So uh, can we say, so A we know is 3 and B is 4, 4 units. So yeah, in this, yeah, I've taken 3 squares for A and 4 squares for B. Okay. So... <clears throat> Let's prove this, use this information to prove that C is going to be five, not Pythagoras, but again, the square. So you can say uh, A, B, C, D again, A, B, C, D is equal to the area of square A, B, C, D is equal to the area of P, Q, R, S plus four times, four times the area of one triangle. So let's say, uh, A, sorry, Q, B, R, Q, B, R. So what is, what is the area of A, B, C, D, which is square A, B, C, D? Well, that is seven squared because three plus four is seven. So three plus four is going to be seven. Yeah, you can say this is also going to be seven. So seven squared is equal to c squared, which is what we want to find, c, plus four times, half times, a times, what is a? a is three times four. So 49 is equal to c squared, plus uh, four times half is going to be two. Okay, two times three times four, two times three is six, six times Four is 24. Now taking away 24 from both sides, if you take away 24 from both sides, what can you get? 
So well, I can get this is 25. So c squared is 25. And taking square root of both sides, you can say c is equal to 5. Okay, now the next challenge is to uh, look at Pythagorean triplets. So, so let me write Pythagorean Pythagorean, hopefully my spelling is right, triplets. This is a challenge. I may make a video on Pythagorean triplets. So Pythagorean triplets starting from 3, 3, 4, 5 is a Pythagorean triplet. Okay, so if you double this, so 6, 8, 10 is also a Pythagorean triplet. Okay. And then if you go 7, 5, 12, 13, 5, 12, 13 is also a Pythagorean triplet. So yeah, <clears throat> let's come from this. So you can say 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to 5 squared. We have already proved this. So if you go 6 squared plus 8 squared, is equal to 10 squared. So let us do it without a calculator. So this is 36 plus 64 is equal to 100. And here this is 5 squared plus 12 squared is equal to 13 squared. So I know you can use a calculator. 25 is 5 squared plus 12 squared is 144. And this is 169, which is 13 squared. So the next challenge is how many triplets can you find? Okay, so that's a challenge. Try to f figure out as many triplets and find a relationship between 3, 4, and 5, 6, 8, and 10, 5, 12, and 13. There's a neat relationship between these three numbers.